Hello everybody, this is Bat Blast. Here I am again on my Chester Zoo project. I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks for joining me again for another video. Um, as part of the videos, you may have seen that I've already blocked out some of the uh, buildings that we're going to be putting in at some point. Um, for example, this is the new, or fairly new Madagascar area. And there are there's some staff buildings and things like that knocking about that I've, I've already, you know, pre-planned. And um, there are three specific buildings which are going to be very, very difficult to do. And um, the first one of those is going to be June's Restaurant, which is going to go here. And for those of you that don't know, it's got a, it's got a load of hexagonal roof pieces on it which is going to be quite tricky to do so as part of my work when i was blocking out the area i um i, I had a look at the rough size of of the hexagons that i wanted and i i pre-built those as well uh, which is fortunate because that took me a long time to get the scale right um, but this is uh, what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about um, what was originally or what was certainly in the 70s, late 70s, it was called uh, the Jubilee Restaurant. And then uh, later uh, in the last sort of 10, 15 years, it got changed to uh, June's Food Court after June Mottershed, the uh, daughter of, uh, of the guy that started the zoo. And... Um, this is where it sits and we're going to be starting building this so i hope you enjoy the video and i'll um i'll i'll, I'll let you know what's going on as we uh, as we progress but here we go so here i am actually we're um we're going to be doing a, a live commentary on this video rather than me uh me playing some music uh, occasionally and whatnot um and I, I just wanted to sort of talk you through what I was doing. Um, I, I plan a lot of my buildings in advance in that I, 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 will, I will do what I'm doing now. Um, and I'm, I'm actually looking on Google Maps at the scale of the building. And then I'm actually, I've, I've actually written this one down on a piece of paper because it is quite complicated, as you can see. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll look on Google Maps and I'll get the scale from there. And um, I'll work out approximately how big each side of the building is and, and, and each little bit that dips in and, and try and work that out like that and um, that, that's why this is a, a difficult build this and the roof are, are going to be quite hard uh, the Oakfield house is also going to be quite difficult um, it's also got a lot of little ins and outs but um, I think this one turns out all right when we get to the end you'll see where we're up to I'm just blocking in some of the walls now and um, the, the next bit we'll come to is the roof and it, the roof yeah, hasn't quite turned out as I'd like I think I need to just have a little look at the textures on it but you can see I've put in two different roofs on the left there to try and get an idea of which one fitted best and neither of the, the roofs in the, in the game actually fitted very well so I need to make a slate roof from scratch <laughs> just like that I just need to make it from scratch. So uh, I'm looking through for different textures and things, and I, I've come up with this, which is actually, I think this is the full stop from the alphabet. And I'm, I'm just going to block this in as uh, different tiles. And originally I put them in and I made them all slightly different colours, and I thought that might work quite well. As it turns out, I wasn't that happy with it. It looked like a pixelated image of something, and uh, I uh, I wasn't happy with that, and I changed it later. But you'll see that happening. So yeah, so I tend to um, try and block out the the general shape of the building first, and you'll you'll see me do that a lot with my builds. So I've done it in this sort of grey plaster, and I know that anything that's grey plaster is just a temporary piece it needs either changing to the finish color or it needs moving around or or it just needs uh it, it needs a different texture on it but it, it, it's just there to say hey this is where we're going this is how big it is this is what it looks like really so i've now uh, i've now come up with a roof tile that i'm quite happy with it looks all right on that side where the shadow is on it um it's not so great where the sun's on it 
But this is the other big feature of this build, and the, uh, this one took me quite a while to get right, and you'll see me mess around with this for a, a little bit. And it's the, the cladding on the outside of the building. The, it's got wooden slats on it like that. You can see me there. I, I saved it as a blueprint. I, again, I do that quite a lot. To Once I've made something, just save it as a blueprint, and you've always got it then in a, in a little library. And um, you can come back then. I've got loads and loads of different fences from from my Chester Zoo build in in my in my little library of of bits. So I always do it with anything that's big or like this, where I can I can potentially copy and paste it somewhere else. Although it's not actually copy and paste, is it? It's uh, try and drag it approximately <laughs> in the right direction. But there you go. It's um, it actually turns out quite nicely. This I'm quite pleased with it. The uh, the cladding works very well. I'm just changing the colour on the bottom. It didn't stand out so well. And one of the things with this building is all the different sides are they're all different lengths. So I've got a big four meter wall. I've got a seven meter stretch, an eight meter, a six meter. Two meters, they're, they're all in there. They're, everything's in there. In fact, I've got a two, a three, four, five, a six, seven, and eight meter bits of wall. So once I've built a, 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 a panel, it is it is a good thing to then be able to copy and paste it somewhere else if you can. Uh, it was quite difficult on this build, as I said. And again, with the windows, when we come to those, one of those windows doesn't. The, the, none of them none of them match in size so one of the panels doesn't look right and i need to go and change it but but the cladding goes on and the cladding looks all right i'm quite pleased with that it looks it looks quite authentic um i could do with maybe just adjusting some of the panels so that the corners match a little bit better but we'll we'll come to that later so we're moving on to the roof now and um We've got a, a, a roof that goes around a corner here. So again, I saved the roof when I made it. I, I saved it as a panel. So it's in my blueprints and I can then copy and paste it somewhere else and adjust it. Something that I find quite helpful. What I'm doing here is I'm, I'm using these as a measuring device to measure how far the roof comes out. So you can see I'm, I'm just adjusting it in line with those pillars that I've put in. So I know that that's a, a one meter wide pillar and I've placed it adjacent to the wall. So I know that the roof is going to hang out one meter wide on, on both sides. And later on when I'm coming doing the porches on the front of the doors, you'll see me doing that again. Just trying to use other pieces to measure where things should go. You can see that I've built the roof and I've built the corner and we've covered the corner up with some planks there. So it just smooths out that corner. If you took those planks off, there'd be holes and all sorts in it. Again, with a lot of this build, uh, the, the pieces that come with the game don't fit the building. So I'm having to either use pieces that don't normally go in that sort of a place or use things to to look like something else or use smaller versions of something but lots and lots and lots of cladding to go on this um i, I want to just say as well that the um this isn't the complete build so this is part one of i presume two <laughs> I haven't made the others yet, so I don't know. Um, this does the main building. In fact, it, it does it does about half of the main building <laughs> um, because the the build just it's just such a big build. Um, the the video that you're watching is just under 24 minutes long, but the amount of work I've put in is well over six hours. There is six hours worth of work that you're watching here. And that that's actually five hours and 57 minutes of video. And the rest of the time we'll be looking on the internet for photos of things. 
uh, it'll be looking on various um, zoo chat channels uh, to try and get information about things or or just uh, just asking people you know what what's this building or what does it look like around the back or you know does anybody know what this is now called or and it's just getting the information right again another couple of bespoke roofs the the pitch angle on this one and the pitch angle on the one on the side are different but again i've used the the, the concrete blocks there to to work out how far out it comes i'm just tidying up the back there it looks quite pretty um and now we're uh, we're doing the second one of the entrances and again i'm using the concrete bits there to judge where the middle is of the building so that I can get the pitch of the roof in the middle and then we're just tidying that up and again it needs some planks on top to just make it look pretty pretty there we are just measuring again how far out does it come and then delete everything that sticks out further than that. But there we go. That looks quite nice. So we're now onto the windows. And uh, the video jumped forward a little bit there. Um, I'd already built one window off camera and then realized that I wasn't recording. Um, the first one turned out all right. I like the first one. But this second one, it's now a three meter stretch. So I can't use the full panel. And I've got to make another panel. And because the glass pieces don't fit in here without overlapping i've had to sort of tweak some of where the uh the verticals are and I, I don't like it as much because the windows are slightly narrower than the other windows and i i need to go back and have another another play around with it because i'm not that keen on it i'm not i'm not actually a perfectionist with it i i, I like to get it fairly close though i mean the fact that i've spent at least six hours on this and just just video time six hours worth would tell you that I'm, I'm putting an awful lot of time into these videos and i'd say i'd say six hours is about an average video I, i'd say that that is you know when i've built the lion enclosure and and the penguins i'd say i'm spending six to eight hours on a video and then of course you've got uh things like this where i'm I'm actually having to put the video together uh, and on this particular one I'm doing uh, a talk through of it but on other videos I have to find music and I have to uh, put captions on and things like that so I think it's nice to do slightly different things each time sometimes do the music sometimes do me talking so what we're doing now is we've got all the gutters going on um, there's quite a lot of gutters on this on this building and um an awful lot of down pipes and i think these turn out quite well i, I like how these look at the end you got two different uh, down pipes there coming into one pipe or two different uh, gutter things coming into one down pipe i think that's the terminology but there you go so yeah, I, I like the way that these turn out. So, um, I've been thinking as well uh, uh, quite a bit about what to do after my Chester Zoo build. I mean, I'm nowhere near finished on it. There's uh, quite a lot of zoo to do. I mean, some of it will be fairly easy paddock type things, but I know in the the islands area that's gonna there's gonna be a lot of work in that. Uh, you may see from the 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 builds that I've put in the Steam Workshop. So I don't know if you're aware, but on Steam, um, th there's a workshop where you can get bits for the game where people have saved things like um, enclosures or um, uh, things like these fences and, and, and gutters. Or, or, you know, if I, if I make a special fence, I might go on there and, and save it so that other people can go and find fences and things like that. Um, well, what I've been doing is I've been saving this zoo as well. So we're on actually 1.4 has been uploaded. So if you search in the Steam Workshop for Chester Zoo 
version 1.4 or just look for Chester Zoo and you'll find you'll find my zoo in there uh, so 1.4 is there and 1.4 is fairly recent um, we haven't got the river bus in it or the the path that joins the north and south areas of the park um, you know the wooden one that goes near the uh, the the bats um, the mono the jubilee monorail station and savo monorail stations aren't done although the tracks in there the buildings aren't up to date and the otters which was my last video uh, they aren't in so um 1.4 contains all the zoo i've built apart from those bits so when 1.5 goes up which I, I, I don't know when i'm going to put my next version of the zoo up um it will include uh it'll well it'll include this um and, and the otters and the monorail stations and, and whatnot and dunes but you'll also be able to see over into the new part of the zoo uh where the uh the bonian islands are and, and that sort of thing uh and the new tiger enclosure and you'll see that i've i've done some work on it some little bits of groundwork to just get an idea of where everything sits so you can see that i'm i'm heading in that direction and from the builds i've done recently i've done the aquarium the otters the penguins and this you can see i'm coming round in in that direction if you know the zoo you know roughly where i am i'm, I'm walking in one direction really um but we're coming to it but i have been thinking about what to do after this and there's part of me wants to go and build a, a fantasy zoo just to just so i can get a bit creative on my own rather than having to copy what's already in a real zoo but i've also got it in the back of my mind to make another zoo uh, like a i've got a choice of a few at the moment i like the idea of the welsh mountain zoo because it's on a mountain and it's um it'd be quite a, a challenge to build something that's on a gradient but i think it'd be quite nice to actually put that in um my other option would be something like san diego zoo which or or berlin um both of which have been voted amongst the best zoos in the world and i, I think chester's in that list of of the the sort of top 10 um zoos in the world i think chester's in the list of top 10 but certainly berlin and, and san diego get voted uh quite highly uh quite regularly so um it'd be quite nice to uh to do one of those zoos the problem with that is i've never visited either of those zoos and it, it might be uh it might be too difficult to find enough information on the internet only the beauty of chester or even the welsh mountain zoo is that i can go there you know chester is less than an hour away for me and uh, welsh mountain zoo is oh, i don't know uh, an hour and a bit but it's, they're, they're both easily easily reachable there we go some lovely doors there i'm, I'm quite ple pleased with these doors they look quite nice again save them into my uh blueprints there and of course the doors on the other side they don't they're not the same size are they no we have to build all new doors and do it all again so again you can see that the work i'm doing is to uh, make the gaps for the doors because i've made panels and put them on the walls and now i need to just adjust them so that we've got um a hole for people to walk through this must be one of those points where somebody came to the door <laughs> i have to run downstairs and uh, go and answer the door so yeah so i don't know which zoo to do next and, and i don't know if it's going to be a fantasy or a real one uh, london also appeals london zoo so and I, and I think that's it i think those are my options london zoo um welsh mountain zoo san diego or berlin well that's going to be it for me for now and there's a, a brief little uh, video uh showing you what i've built um and i've already done the outro for that so i'm going to stop talking now i'm going to pass you on to uh, my real-time persona and um I'll, I'll just show you around what i've done and also what we're going to be doing in the next video which will be obviously uh, focused around the roof and the rest of the building so um 
I hope you've enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you have. And um, come back and watch part two very soon. Soon, And I'll pass you back to my old self for the, uh, the walkthrough of what we've actually built. Uh, well, there you have it so far, folks. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, finish this video uh, because we've got the main building sort of looking all right. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the way it looks. I like the way that the wood looks on it, and I like the little vents. The windows are okay. They're not very even. I, I, I need to go back and have a look at those. Um, the doors are good, and, and I, yeah, I think, I think it's pretty good. I think we're doing all right with that. Um, the two main sides that the public visit are this one and this one, of course. Um, with the, there's a children's play park up here, and um, this side is a little more sparse in my uh, in, in the knowledge that I've got of what it is. But I, I think I can make a rough estimate of how it looks down there. It looks like we've probably got windows there, and this is probably going to be the same. I don't know about this. Or this bit but we'll see there's another building that goes on the back of it and that's going to be in a later video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for this video as a, a part way through so you can see where I'm up to see how things are going the next bit is going to be the roof so if we have a quick look at this um, this roof actually sits somewhere approximately approximately there that sort of area and um, it, it's got some domes on it hexagonal domes uh, which is which uh, well I say dome a dome and a hexagon yeah they're different I know um, it's got some um, it's got a pointy roof and they're all hexagons and it's um, it's in that shape so I need to work out how to do that now I've already started doing that and I just wanted to show you this bit before I actually get on to the next video so what I did was I took some bamboo and I made a scaffolding out of it so I, I looked at where all the corners were and I, I made lines across from one corner to the other and um, from one corner to the next and one corner to the next so that we had um, a, a, a ever decreasing um, web it's a big web so you can see that when I've got the lines going across here I've then put other bamboo in across it it, it all worked out so that I got um, I got to the point where I had this lovely little hexagon in the middle down here that you can't really see very well but it's, it's just ooh, down there there we are there we have it and then I put uh, one bamboo on top of each of the points so that's where it's going to go to because it doesn't go to a point it goes to a, a kind of a little cupola on the top, a little um, a little kind of uh, hat it has on top. Um, and all these are, uh, they're a kind of red terracotta tile. Um, so I did that and then I put the big long bamboo poles in that go to the corners. So I know the shape that I'm doing, I know the height that I'm doing, that looks pretty good, it looks about right. Uh, what I did next was I went on to this and I started putting bamboo in because it is a red terracotta tile that's on the roof and I thought that would look pretty good and uh, I started doing it and I wasn't happy with it I think th it looks all right I like the the little ridges on it it, it makes it look a bit like tiles but it, it was becoming too messy um, to try and get them all lined up and I just wasn't happy so I thought I'd start something else so um, I did this and it's exactly the same frame and all I've done is I've filled it in with some of the the, the shapes the art shapes down here um, so that it's filled and then what I did was I copied it across and now if you actually look at these we can um, we can duplicate these round and they do actually fall into place like that. And we do the same again. Just fall that one around. Do, 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 like that. Boom. And we have our hexagon. Ah, looks pretty good. So if you can imagine all of them with these little things on and looking like red terracotta. So that's the next thing to make it look like red terracotta. So I need to put something on this to make it look like it's tiles and then copy it round and we'll see where we go from there so that'll be the next video and um, I'll be I'll be doing that 
pretty soon the video will come to you very shortly and um yeah there you go that's um that's june's food court as it looks so far obviously there's a lot of paths and there's some greenery to go in and lots and lots of benches and things but there you go it's looking pretty good um that's it for me for today my name's backblast i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you next time